Yo hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Hotmail users, are you looking to boost the security of your email account? Well, you are in right place. In this tutorial for 2024, we will show you how to enable the two-factor authentication on your Hotmail account. By adding 2FA, you will be adding a new layer of security. So guys, let's get started. So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, first thing that I will need you to do is of course to go to your Hotmail account by going to the Outlook and then logging in. After you do so, what you should do is to simply go to your Microsoft account as you can see right here. And as you can see from this area, what you should do is pretty simple so here you will find some necessary things as your devices and couple of things that might be needed to be added in here so for example here Microsoft 365 2065 even any subscription if you had uh, storage anything that might be necessary and here also on the left you will have the same thing so these things are basically located in here on the left so you can find them as well so here you will have your info devices services etc what we are going to talk about in this video is our account security so of course we are going to the security from here so I'm having already like a two-factor authentication with my email as you can see this is just an example if each time I go and try to actually log into this email and another email will be sent to another email so I can get uh, my account ready to go so I will be just copying the email and be right back to you guys so guys in this area as you can see you will find here many many things to actually uh, manage and to actually try and use and to get like enhanced enhance your ideas with it so here for example you will have the security as i said in the security you will find the sign in activity so see when and where you've signed in and tell us if something looks unusual so you can look here to see your uh, activity password security help keep your account safer by using a stronger password uh, here advanced security options so try the latest security options to help keep your account safe you click here to get started and stay secure with windows so windows provide the latest antivirus protection so here these are the main things so here for example this is my pc so the successful signed in and it is working successfully so i don't really have any problems now at the same time when we go here to additional as you can see here are the additional like uh, things that i have so here this is my password so my password is new and good and up to date nothing wrong with it my email address is also good so nothing is wrong with it as well and you can add here a new way to sign in or verify for example you can for example use an app use uh, email a code or use your windows pc or use a security Key. so for an app which is basically an authenticator app it is basically something like Google Authenticator, Microsoft Authenticator, Dio, uh, Accessible Authenticator so there is a lot of apps that can actually be used for this case for this kind of things so here if we want for Google Authenticator let's search for it real quick there we go um, this is yeah this is it this is the logo of it so basically guys this is what you are looking for when you're trying to look for google authenticator so here it is it is really good really very very safe and good tool which will allow you to get a code every 30 seconds this code is only one time code that will keep changing each time it will keep changing twice or three times per minute so even if someone tried to guess the number it is impossible for them to guess it unless they were like I mean it's pretty much impossible since the number is changing every second and the bot if someone like let's let's make sure like let's say for example that there is a bot that is actually uh, um, typing random numbers each second so 
it is very very impossible for that bot to actually get the number since the number is not going for example only forward it can go backward it can go uh, it's just very random so you can't really guess it so this is a very good tool to have but since we are going to deal with outlook or hotmail in general then i think you might want to go with the microsoft authenticator microsoft authenticator is basically the same thing as the google authenticator so this is the logo of it you might find it on your ios play store and the google play store so you will find it in both ways so this is gonna be a very very good tool it works the same as you can see here you will find your account in this area with the uh, code that's gonna be changing every 30 seconds and you can literally uh, check for notification make sure to uh, uh, like hide codes uh, make i mean maybe there is a like a, a near like update which you can even edit the timer here which is basically for example gonna change every three seconds every five seconds so you never know what's coming soon by microsoft so this is a very very good tool as i said to actually make your account safe and it is a part of the two-factor authentication because the two-factor authentication is basically no, it is basically when you try to get your account, you are going to go with two steps. So the first step is basically putting your password. The second step is something else. So a password by logging in using your email and password is no longer a valid thing nowadays. You always have to add something else in addition to actually make your account valid. So here, as you can see, the, I have here my app, my email, etc. So when I'm trying to log in into my account, as you saw at the beginning of this video, the have asked me for my email code so there is a once email code that's going to be sent to another email that i'm going to use it and that code is only going to be used once so even if someone hacked that email or something else well i will be actually using my email already so they can't really uh, steal it from me so yeah this is the main idea of uh, one email and here as you can see i have the two-step verification on so it is here it shows here off so you can click here to manage and set up two-step verification so there is two-factor authentication and two-step verification so the two-step verification is basically by um two steps as it, they said and the two-factor authentication as you can see here it's basically by uh basically having an app and a number or an app or something else or you know just two different things at the same time beside the password so these are the ways to actually turn on your two-step verification it is basically by not only having a password or a strong password but it is also by having a phone number attached to your account and in addition of that you will need also uh, uh, like another email attached to your account or another app that will be your authenticator app that will give you a single time password that's going to be regenerated every 30 seconds or or less or more just to keep your account safe at the best time and you could get also here some one time password code that can get four digits or five digits or i mean Eight digits here as you can see so it is a very very useful thing to add an extra layer of security to your account and yeah guys that was it for today's video if you enjoyed make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel and see you guys in the next tutorial bye bye